Flowers. Good morning. It's about uh, 11, and um, I've got a lot to tell you. A lot of stuff that's not good. So, uh, as you guys know, uh, I've been using a long, I mean, when I first started, I've been using my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Love this phone. Takes great video, great pictures, right? Unfortunately, I, uh, I dropped it, so I busted the lens and everything, right? And so it was up to a point where I couldn't even see what was going on over here, you know? So it was terrible. But uh, fortunately, when I got this phone, my son got the same phone. He had since uh, transferred over to an iPhone, which what I did too. But anyway, I used his phone to continue my YouTubing, right? And I've been using this phone to um, make my videos in every way. And you ready for this? The best part of this is that um, I use this to record everything. I use it to do the thumbnails. I use, the, I use it to do the graphics with the apps and stuff. I use it to edit it. 100% I use this phone to make my videos, right? The graphics, the thumbnail, you know, with the girls and all, whatever. Uh, I use several different apps to get that, you know, with the graphics that go on the video, also with the phone. It's great. I love it, all right? The problem is, though, in the summertime, I got no pockets usually, right? So I can't carry anything. So I'm always holding everything like this, right? And if I've got a whole bunch of stuff, I always end up dropping it. So guess what? That's right. I dropped the second one. So now th these two phones are done -ski! Both these phones. Crap. See? So what am I going to do? The thing that you're watching now is an old Toshiba flip open video recorder. It's 1080p, you know, fine HD and all. Uh, well, we'll see. Um, obviously, it doesn't have uh, input for my lavalier, so I'm going to have to scream, you know, to the mic. Uh, I don't know if it sounds clear or anything. I, I haven't reviewed it yet. But, uh... I'm going to the uh, church to sell my push mower that I got from Larry for 80 bucks. I'll be right back. I mean, I, you guys are the highlight of the parade. Oh, man. Thank you. I mean, other than the blaring sirens and stuff, <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I love the guy. that 
from the church. The church has a nice big parking lot. It's only like two blocks away. It's a perfect place for me to meet people and sell my shit. Anyway, so uh, that uh, push mower that Larry gave me, uh, it's a come see engine, whatever. I, what did I do to it? I just put an air filter on it. I think I cleaned the carb or I made a carb out of it. I don't remember. Scores! That goes into my quarantine box. Not that I really care about the quarantine box anymore. But anyway, so what am I going to do about the phone business, you know? Uh, not the phone business, but the video business. So I thought to myself, you know, all this time, right, uh, I've been getting away with doing pretty decent videos with just a phone, right? What if I went and got like a GoPro or something like that, right? I'd have to take the memory card out of the GoPro, put it into my desktop computer, download it, get a program for the computer, splice and dice that way. Then I gotta find all my music files, what about the graphics? You can't put the graphics on with that um, desktop, you know? So I don't know what to do. Now, uh, I am going to go inside and try something else. I have a um, DSLR camera that I use for, you know, with a huge telescopic lens and stuff. You know, it takes unbelievable pictures, right? But you watch. With all the stuff that I'm doing around here, it'll get dirty, I'll drop it, it'll tip over, the lens will hit... And once that lens hits the ground, forget about it. We're talking about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars just for the lens. You know what I mean? And then if you break the camera, it's a couple of thousand dollars. You know what I mean? So I don't even know if that's worth it to do that, you know? So I might just go and get like a uh, GoPro type little square box thing. You know, they make really good copies of the, they don't call them copies, but they call them clones, GoPro clones, right? And so, uh, I've seen the, the best uh, clones, they're still in a couple hundred dollars, you know what I mean? Like the best one right now for GoPro is the uh, Hero 8, right? Now that's like $4.99 or $3.99, something like that. And um, then there's a Acaso, which is like the next leading competitor to GoPro. They're like a clone. They're still like $150, bucks, 200 dollars you know, but pretty nice, you know. Um, I think they have a new one called the Acaso. Brave 7 LE, where it's got like uh, two LED screens. There's a, a LCD screen in the back, you know, where it's touch screen and you can do the selection. And then there's a little one in the front for selfies and stuff. Man, I'm thinking that might be perfect, you know. And then they have a whole bunch of other copied ones, but they're no good, you know. Uh, they're like 20, 30, 50, 70, 80 bucks, you know. Um, but it seems like the only good ones that are out there that are good clones are the ones that are a little bit over a hundred bucks, right? Those are good. Like the Akaso and the Yi, Y-I, obviously Chinese made. But they make them so good that they're almost comparable to um, the GoPros. So I might get one of those things and then just see how it is, you know. Download all the files into a computer, splice them all together. I think making a movie now is going to take a lo uh, longer time, you know, which... Or I could just go and buy another used... Galaxy S7 or S8, you know what I mean? Hey, if any of you guys got an old Galaxy S7 or S8 lying around your drawer and you're not using it, right? Contribute it to the channel! Send it to me. Let me know. Uh, I'm going to go get my DSLR just to try it and see how much clearer and nicer it is. Okay, so this is my Canon Rebel EOS has a telescopic lens on it and uh, I don't know it's worth about two or three thousand I'm not sure my dad bought it and uh, when he passed away uh, my mom gave it to me to use because she wasn't using it uh, I've used it to uh, take video and shots of you know family stuff uh, my daughter's soccer games my son's baseball games all that stuff um, it's a really good camera really good but I can't stand close to it because of the telescopic lens, you know? Because if I stand like within five feet of it, right, you'll see my nose whiskers. So uh, I'm using the uh, DSLR, Canon EOS Rebel. And uh, the camera is in the garage, okay? And this is the closest view you're gonna get. So if I was gonna be on camera, I'd have to go over here. This is where I have to do the 
monologue. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Today we're gonna work on... See, I mean, is this ridiculous? I mean, there's no question that the clarity is just beautiful, you know what I mean? I mean, look, so I'm going to use the uh, zoom lens now, okay? But look at this. I mean, I, I'm in my garage. Look how clear that is. Or I can use my daughter's old uh, Google Pixel. Um, this one has a battery problem. So if you want to use it, I guess you could. But you always have to have it plugged in. Even with this uh, Morphe case, Mophie case, that has an um, extra battery in it, it still runs out of battery so bad. I mean, I don't know why. But uh, I'll try this for, for today. <laughs> Boba's got a new friend. So because today I just sold a uh, push mower that I got from Larry. Let's stay on the Larry theme, huh? Larry gave me this uh, steel SH-85 leaf blower uh, about... Have I known you for a year now already? About a year ago. Or nine months ago, something like that. Anyway, uh, it ran and stuff. I didn't do a thing to it. It ran and I brought it over to my mom's house. And uh, I remember having a lot of trouble trying to start it a few times. Uh, I mean, I pulled it and pulled it. It was like I was pulling a pull-on pro, you know? That's why they call it pull-on, because you're pulling on and pull on and pulling on it. But anyway, it, it just wouldn't start. So I brought it back from my mom's house, and I got the uh, Vander Mullen windmill over there at my mom's, you know, the backpack blower. That thing's great. One pull all the time. Anyway, so I'm going to try to get this one running today. Um, I'm going to... There's no gas in it. Oh, there is gas in it. You know what? Let's just try it right now. So I'm using my um, daughter's old Google Pixel, and that actually records at 4K at 30 frames per second. So that's nothing to sneeze at. That's pretty good, you know? Oh, this is choked. Of course, it's a left-handed thing. I mean, you know, I'm not lefty. Not even, not even a sign of starting. Excuse me while I have a heart attack. I've uh, just connected a spark tester to it. Let's see if we have any sparkage. Let's see if you have any spark right there, okay guys? Plenty of spark, look at that. Nice, nice orange spark. See the light? So it's got spark. You know what I just did? Um, I adjusted the high-low screws over here. And it, what's good is you don't really need the uh, special adjustment tool, you know, the crescent one, the spline, or the uh, Pac-Man one, you know? Uh, you don't need those three tools. I, I have them, but this is just uh, Phillips. So what happened was I turned all the screws all the way in, counterclockwise, uh, clockwise, to turn them both all the way to the back, uh, to the bottom and I backed it out one and a half turns on each. That's like a setting point, you know what I mean? So then, uh, check it out. <laughs> it was just running a second ago.
not worked out. you about my uh, video camera problems busted both of my uh, cell phones so now I can't record this Google pixel actually seems to be working pretty good and it also has the option of 4k at 30 frames per second which is really clear uh, when Google pixel first came out they boasted about how their camera is the best out there um, when it first came out a few years back you know now of course Apple and Samsung has gotten even better than that you know and also capable of 4k at 30 or 60 frames per second you know which you guys know man video takes up a lot of space especially at 4k with 60 frames per second you know what I mean so like 10 seconds of video is taking up like half a gig already you know Picks up a lot of memory. This phone is actually 128 gigabytes too. So uh, I'll have to do some research online. Uh, I'll have to see how hard it is to make this video today. Because remember, I've got files from, oh, I wanted to show you. This is my the little Toshiba thing that I started to use this morning. I mean, you know, I got this a few years ago. It, it's okay. It's digital. It's got a 32 gigabyte um, SD card in it, right? It's really small and handy to use. You can actually flip this around and do that so you can see. You got to admit, that's pretty cool, right? And it uh, records at 1080p. So, you know, that's pretty clear. Uh, I don't think the sound is very good, though, but... Anyway, so I tried that this morning. I'm going to have to uh, get on the computer, the desktop, for a change and do this video. Um, the Toshiba files, take them out. Get the files out of the big DSLR camera, you know. And then try to get it uploaded to a cloud somewhere where I can download it to this phone that I'm using right now. So I can put it all together. Because I don't know if I know how to take the files out of here into the desktop. You know, I'll figure it all out. But uh, I wanted to let you guys know my uh, pickle of a situation with, I mean, a YouTuber's got to have a camera, right? Uh, so I guess I'm going to use this Google until I decide what I'm going to do. It's, it seems to record pretty clear. Uh, I'll check it out when I, when I do the editing later for this. But uh, we did a nice quick fix here today. Uh, this thing has been a thorn in my side a little bit, you know. Uh, Larry gave it to me a while back, and I've only used it maybe once or twice because the rest of the times it didn't start, you know. But I think maybe we got this going. Uh, it's a little temperamental. I think maybe the compression might not be so good anymore, you know. But if you keep uh, pulling it and pulling it, you know, a little bit of oil gets into the chamber and, you know, has a little bit of compression, whatever. Let's see. Here's another test. it starts and works you know what I mean maybe I'll get rid of it you know what I'm saying anyway thanks a lot for joining me on uh, today's episode adjusting the uh, high low fuel mixture screws on this steel 
SH85 leaf blower and telling you about my camera pickle. YouTubers gotta have a good camera, and I don't have that right now. I'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.